The Greek god of courage and war, Ares is one of the many offsprings of Zeus and Hera, also known as the god of manliness, cannibals, violence, murder, bloodshed, and bloodlust. As you can imagine, if Ares was real, well, there's no telling how things would possibly pan out. Compared to his half sister, Athena, who is known more as a strategic and less aggressive god, it seems Ares is also known for being responsible for the untamed aspect of war, as some sources put it. So, naturally, as you can imagine, this video is likely going to be full of violence and war. Tell my fellow American viewers out there, it seems you'll enjoy this one the most, as it is quite on brand. America! Today on OBQ, we're asking what if Ares was real? Smash that like button, or you know, bloodshed and all. Let's get into it. So as we've done other Greek God videos in the past, there's been a somewhat consistent idea that if one of them were real, that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of them would be real. And to keep things consistent, we'll go with that route for this video as well, meaning Ares and only Ares will be the God that is going to be the focal point. Before we try to depict what our lives would be like when mixed with this God, let's talk about the story of Ares, who he is, how he came to be, and what makes him tick. I got a feeling the answer to everything will be war, but we shall see. So for starters, as previously mentioned, Ares is the offspring of Zeus and Hera. However, most sources claim that he wasn't respected as the other gods were. Given his short temper, aggressiveness, and love for conflict, unfortunately if Ares were real, it seems world wars would be much more common than not. Due to his behavior and personality traits, it seems Ares really wasn't all that popular in Greek mythology, and thus there isn't nearly as much information available about him, especially when compared to the likes of Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon for example. Still that doesn't mean we can't hypothetically determine how awful or great life may or may not be should Ares be real. As I've said in previous videos regarding Greek mythology, it would be interesting to see how people of other religions would react to Ares being real. Would they devote their time and efforts to worshipping him, or would they be hopeful that their gods will also come to fruition and save them from the potential terrors Ares would spread across the world? It seems Ares, although he was known to be courageous and never backed down from a battle, wasn't always victorious in his fights. The most popular or well-known myth regarding a battle involving Ares was his fight with Hercules. He actually had two, in which he lost both, but also cost him some of his children. However, it's important to note that, again, going down the route that the other gods wouldn't be around, Ares, if he were real, would still be a god, meaning he'd be more powerful than any human or mortal for that matter. And with this in mind, unfortunately it seems we'd find ourselves in a situation where, well, we'd want to please the god, whatever that may mean. In the case of Ares, it seems bloodshed is inevitable. We'd likely have two options, go to war with each other or go to war with him. So let's see how each of those play out. Assuming Ares would be the cause for another world war simply because he would just enjoy the idea of bloodshed and war, as well as the aggressiveness and results that come from war, unfortunately it seems a lot of people would lose their lives. Between the two world wars, it's believed the death toll, which is a total estimation, surpassed the 100 million mark, which is just awful. And unfortunately, as time has gone on, our technologies as well as artillery have improved, meaning the idea of another 100 million or more losing their lives from a third world war alone isn't so far-fetched. In fact, given that Ares loves war so much, and we'd likely be going to war with each other just to ensure he doesn't come down on us, there may truly never be an end to this ongoing conflict. As wild as it sounds, it's quite possible that if Ares were real, we'd be in a continuous world war, whatever that could possibly look like. Now as we know, the Cold War went on for decades, but that's likely because the death toll, compared to other wars, was almost non-existent, and definitely not something that Ares would stand for. In order to keep him happy, we'd likely just need to continue taking each other down until there's potentially no one left to attack. The reality is, as grim as it may seem, that if Ares were real and ruled the world for lack of a better word, we'd be in a consistent war with each other until the human race would be entirely wiped out. Aside from the casualties that stem from war, it also leads to total destruction of countries, widespread disease, shortages in food and water in some areas, the list goes on and on. Life would never be what it was prior, and although I usually say humans are able to adapt, in this case, it seems there wouldn't be enough time to to adapt or formulate a proper plan as things would continually be in a state of war. Now this is just one angle that we could take. Of course, very similar to the angle I take when we do videos about alien invasions, I also think we could go down the road of we all band together and try to take this Greek god down. Now initially, mortal versus immortal, it seems quite evident who would win this one. But again, given that Ares had a short temper and was often short-sighted in his plans, simply because he was so into bloodshed, it seems if humans had a chance of taking down any of the Greek gods, this would certainly be the one. It wouldn't be easy, and truth be told, I'm not so sure it would be possible. However, rather than kill him, as I always say, we may find a way to adapt and coexist with Ares. I mean, back when Ares would have been around, nukes also weren't a thing. So I mean, you know, we could always give it a shot. 
But considering that he is an immortal, it may do some damage, but I'm not so sure that we'd be able to fully kill him. Instead, we'd likely need to find a way to trap or maybe contain him, allowing us to live our lives and not have to worry about appeasing the Greek god with an unquenchable bloodthirst. How we would be able to contain him is truly the million dollar question, as it seems he was only wounded by the attacks of other Greek gods, such as Hercules, who would actually defeat him in battle twice. That being said, if we were able to construct a chamber of sorts that is indestructible and large enough to contain this Greek god, well, we may be onto something. Yet again, what's indestructible to a human is likely not indestructible to a god. So it seems the only real outcome is that we all go to war with each other until no one is left, and then Ares is all alone in the world. The other angle we take is we all band together, and it's the human race against the Greek god, which again would likely lead to the end of the human race, as he is immortal and we are not. Unfortunately, keeping things as realistic as possible, it seems there really would be no winning when it came to Ares being real. However, given that this is a hypothetical video about a Greek god being real, I want to include one other possibility, which of course is so out of this world, some of you may even get offended. But we're talking about a Greek god being real in 2021, so there really are no rules here, guys. Sorry to tell you. Speaking it out of this world, as we know, humans are mortal. But you know who may not be? You guys know exactly where I'm going with this one. <laughs> Aliens, baby, let's go! <laughs> not even in the title, and I still throw them in the video. You guys are gonna kill me, and I love it. Who's to say that assuming we come to terms, we can't take this Greek god down ourselves, governments all over the world get together, and use their best resources for space exploration in hopes of finding other forms of intelligent life. What does this have to do with defeating Ares? Well, let's say we're able to find an alien race or species and somehow show them we come in peace and actually need their assistance in preserving the Earth. Now, there is no guarantee we will find aliens or that they're willing to help us in a war against Ares. But again, this is a video about a Greek god being real and ruling the world, so we'll just roll with it. Given that we really can't confirm what aliens are capable of, if they're mortal or immortal, and what weapons or strategies they may use, it seems from this point on, everything is completely up for interpretation. And I'm not going to go through a whole explanation of how we'd stop Ares or what the aliens would use because again, that's totally up to you guys to decide as this video is entitled, What If Ares Was Real and Aliens Were Also Real? Think of me like the M. Night Shyamalan of YouTube because I'm just gonna put a bunch of random information out there and then walk away and you guys need to decide what happens. All in all, it seems if Ares was real, without the help of aliens, the human race likely wouldn't stand a chance. We'd either wipe each other out trying to appease Ares or we'd try to take him down, but again, him being immortal and all, we'd also likely face our demise. If we had the help from some extraterrestrial friends, then maybe there is a chance we'd be able to take Ares down or who knows, maybe teleport him to another galaxy or dimension, assuming the aliens have technologies capable of doing so. But if it came down to us against him, well, we're done. No other way around it, folks. Sorry. Now, as always, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Ended it on a bit of a wild note, but I'm a wild guy. You know, I'm the spiciest host in the game, baby. The shirt says it all, Mr. Spicy. You know, you never know what you could get with me. And now you know, you're getting aliens all the time. For now, let's see some comment replies from the video. What if Siren Head was real in 2021? Lunar Twisted said, head to the ocean on a yacht since they can't swim. See, that's the whole thing, though, is maybe he can't swim because he goes so fast, you know, you can't even see him. He's 40 feet tall, so depending on how far in the ocean you are, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know what like the depths of the ocean are like, I'm sure hundreds or thousands of feet. I think like the lowest point is like, what, 40,000 feet or something? I don't know. But you know, we'd have to go pretty far down into the ocean because he could stand about 40 feet. Aside from that, you know when something like skips across the water because they're so fast? Who's to say he couldn't, right? He could just run really fast and kind of skip across the water that we couldn't stop him. Soup Mike said, just shoot it. Ah, oh, I see what he did there. <laughs> just shoot it, shoot every siren you see. If it starts to move, empty the whole mag. Again though, uh, I think it would move before we could see it. A, it's really good at camouflage. B, it's so fast that we don't even, you know, couldn't even see it coming. So, just saying. Slick Ghost said, A10 Warthog go and he's Ash. Again though, we don't know if, if, if weapons would just take this thing down. You could try to shoot it, but I mean, it's like a monster of sorts. We don't know if it would just bleed blood. It's not, you know, it's not, zoo, it's not uh, oh, Ben Stiller from Dodgeball. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all for this one. I've been Mr. Spicy. As you guys know, I love you so, so much. My name's been Jared Bronson, aka Pepper, and we'll hopefully see you the next one. Probably not, though. <laughs>